Tonight, a resounding boom at a West Sacramento motel room explodes and burns. That blast sent two people to the hospital. And now, police are warning others about a dangerous trend. CBS 13's Drew Balea is live tonight from the Stardust Motel, where residents had their peaceful Sunday evening interrupted with a bang. Drew? Yeah, they sure did. They had to spend hours out in this parking lot last night while police investigated, and they were... Uh, investigating an explosion that happened inside of that apartment unit and some of them tell me that they even had to help clean up the mess that was created by what police are calling a drug lab blast. It smelled like uh, burnt rubber and uh, glass everywhere. It was scary. Only a wall separates Carmen Baldwin's room from where the blast happened. So my first thoughts was to get the dogs out because if it, there was a fire, I didn't want them to burn to death. Like a firework kind of sound, so I came out and there's glass everywhere, like all the way to the middle of the parking lot. Bianca also stays nearby and shot this video of the aftermath. Suddenly something exposed inside there, so the window was flying out. Two men and a woman were inside when the explosion happened. The men suffering severe burns. They were burned on the face and the skin was a little bit. The explosion was so powerful that some of the glass ended up on top of a nearby vehicle and even more shards could be found dozens of feet away. Police say a honey oil lab is to blame. It's an unstable process, and long story short, it can create an explosion. Honey oil or hashish oil is the process of extracting the main ingredient from marijuana and then smoking it to get high. It, it is something that is very, very dangerous. Sergeant Kenny says that they've seen an increase of honey oil use in the region. And take a look at this map from the Drug Enforcement Agency, which shows a majority of marijuana extraction labs are in California. Now, this window here will be installed in the next hour or so, but that was a big hole for much of the day. As for those two men who were burned, they are expected to be okay, but their troubles won't end there. Police say it's likely that they will face some sort of drug charges and possibly even some jail time as this investigation continues. All right, Drew Balea, live in West Sacramento for us tonight. Drew, thank you.